my first time dating i was in 2000 like and age wise 18 oh yeah i was 18 okay my high school sweetheart mm-hmm. yeah but when we finished high school i don't know everything changed and she left me mm-hmm. even in the situation ships that i was in before like 2017 2014 mm-hmm. i'd never left a girl What's up guys? Welcome to the Atsin show. My name is Cheptoek Boyo. We are now in season 3, so please subscribe. Yeah. Today we have Malik Lemuel aka Govi in the house who's also my homie na sikujua. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thank you so mm? much. Thank Akta you so much. Mku. Yeah. Karibu karibu sana. Nashukuru mazi, nashukuru. Very soon itakuwa sasa na kuja uko housewarming since hey, you're my neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> Umekaribisha anytime. Aha. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Tuanze na acting. Mm-hmm. You started in Makutano Junction yeah. at a very young age. Yeah. Unakumbuka kweli? Imagine the funniest thing or the rather the greatest thing is nakumbuka kila kitu. Everything baka venye ili happen. Kila kitu. Baka tukipigiwa hiyo call. Uh-huh. Yeah, enye sikumbuki ni ya 2002 nikifanya voice over. Okay. Cuz I did a, a voice over when I was 2 years old. Yeah, familiar with. Yeah, yeah, you was what was about you recover uh, you remember uh, stuff from 5 years. From 5 years yeah. onwards. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Uh nini? How was it working with the big wigs uh-huh. wa Makutano cuz Makutano was the only big show big, in Kenya then. Yeah, yeah. Actually mungu na Makutano ni a media company. Mm-hmm. So ili kwa imechota hawa wote wenye when you need the great who's when you want to say the who's and who's unajua <laughs> so me for me my role wasn't actually big because nakumbuka role yangu ilikuwa kwa season 2 mm-hmm. season 2 episode 5 6 7 na i think 8 then that was it kama unakumbuka hizo zote ni vitu zote youtube nilienda nikafuatilia youtube nikasema kwani god attacking ni jone venye kwa mtu venye nilizipata nikajiota i was like wow You were really young. I was really Lona happy. Nilona kiteswa ukifanya show eh, kazi. Uliona, kazi. Eh, yeah. I was really happy to see that kid I'm amount to now. Una get cause you want me to give you a brief history of that time? Yes, please. It happened like this. We were were living kwa nyumba huko South B Golden Gate. Na tulikuwa watu wengi actually you know how Costarian families are. Yes. Wanapenda kuishi kwa upamoja hivi. So nilikuwa tunaishi na my cousins my grandpa used to come once in a while my grandma used to live with us your time my mom was living with us pia my dad my dad alikuwa dubai uh-huh. na auntie yangu pia mama ya cousins alikuwa pia dubai okay. so it happened that that day my grandpa alikuwa amekuja from work mm-hmm. yeah my grandpa alikuwa amekuja alafu what tulikuwa tumekaa kwa sitting room and then we were watching kbc mm-hmm. so tuki watch kbc because my grandpa really loved me mm-hmm. that's what i can remember from Izo Then, yes. mm. uh-huh. So my grandpa akakuja akaniambia come sit on my lap to watch to TV so tuna watch no to just was some mini mto hiyo time. Then a call came in. I guess my mom called somebody in the house. I can't remember who. Mm-hmm. But then my grandpa ndo aka answer the phone. Mm-hmm. Ali call and then akaletewa grandpa akaletewa simu kwenye letewa na mkatu nikisikia mama akisema ni prepareiwe you know we had like two nannies. Okay. One nanny for my cousins, one nanny for me. So I think it was my nanny mwenye alipigiwa. Akasema ni prepareiwa, kesho naenda Green Acres nitakujua na gari very early in the morning. Yeah. Naenda Green Acres limuru cause makutano ilikuwa inafanywa place inaitwa Green Acres. Mm-hmm. And I was like, "Uni imagine tuna watch makutano alafu una simu inapigwa." That was really I don't know, it was just Answer prophetic. Real. Yeah, it like, was like yeah, nini I watch mm. na next ni mimi niko kwa hiyo yeah. daily. Cuz that time my mom was doing art you know what i mean by art this set design art yeah. nini nini yeah. your time bado akwa amekuwa producer right now she's a senior producer your time alikuwa anafanya art mm-hmm. so back story maybe ni i think walimwambia eh hey, by the way uko na mtu hii nini anaweza kama try sijua sijuangi vizuri but i guess that was the back story and there was and from there everything it can shoot everything chap, imagine chap. it can shoot because i remember i was the youngest in the group that you were in if you watch if you watch that part yes. you'll realize i was the youngest but mimi nilipewa lines Ish. I think I was but now can he deliver ukigomba na huyo pasta hapo hivi imagine mimi nilikuwa bado hata sijatan 
ilikuwa yes by fifth year mm-hmm. but bado siko nimetan five i think i was four and a half mm-hmm. bado july ilikuwa imefika mm-hmm. so nika play a role and i retained the role for that the, time the whole season imagine those four episodes mm-hmm. yeah na wow. the rest is history that's now. amazing mm-hmm. yeah. then machachari followed uka blow up yeah. how was it being in a boarding school mm-hmm. but when you star wow that's a really nice question kuna pressure Pressure ilikuwa actually nili join boarding school class 5 nikiwa na Ruby Primary I went to a school called Nairobi Primary mm-hmm. when nili join hiyo shule um it was all you know nilikuwa nasikia fit because Nairobi Primary is one of the dopest and biggest schools in Kenya yeah. so nilikuwa nimetoka shule inaitwa Highway Educational Complex I started school at Our Lady of Mercy by the way mm-hmm. then moved to highway when you do ilikuja kuja kidogo and then you graduate yeah you need to graduate <laughs> highway nilitoka cuz my cousins were transfer wakaenda dubai and you remember i started telling you how costarians are so yeah tight so when you alishia asinge baki highway baki too lonely hapo eh, nikabaki lonely so mother akasema acha nikupeleke boarding school so i went to boarding school in class 5 and by this time i was already a famous kid cuz machari had just started the previous year 2010 We had just won Chaguo Latinese. We had won so many awards to look kwa magazeti, magazines. We was we were such hot cakes. Yeah. Your time. So obviously, hiyo ina amount to pia to fame kukuwa high. Mimi nakwambia shule mpaka nilikuwa gana pewa gaka protection kangu. Kasi masia yes. Wa, unajua my students walikuwa wanani offer you protection when you are assigned you na teachers unapata ma class 8. Mm-hmm. Wameambi wakae na mimi wanichunge but all in all ilikuwa bado pressure cuz other schools will come to a school maybe kind sports event ama drama festival na umekutegea utakona huyu star yeah and i remember the most like the most like naweza sema down part in the face in primary ni kuna watu walikuja mm-hmm. to our school wakaanza kurusha mpaka mawe no. you know that's when i first encountered kumbe hit ni real yeah. you know and then i went to this school i won't mention names but we had gone for a football event tulikuwa mm-hmm. mimi nilikuwa player unaimagine nilikuwa naenda kufunga bao mtu akanitupia mawe i'm sure no i'm way. sure your time this was about 2011 2012 mm-hmm. i'm sure wasenyo wana wataski story from that school wanakumbuka vizuri mm-hmm. so uka, uka have kutoka mawe, kuacha kucheza mm. ama nika have kutolewa kwanza kwa pitch nitoke because they started saying at na Jona star you know how kids can be when they really mean. Eh, really mean and you know kids don't lie yeah. when kids don't like, like you they, they don't, don't like, like you so ali na say my by the but they really ili kwa crazy for me yeah. so my teacher stays out shout out to Mr David mm-hmm. yeye alikuja akani save from that crowd na a couple of other male teachers sikumbuki majina wakanitoa kwa hiyo hiyo scene nikae kwa kwa gari ya shule and then watu tukamaliza bado tulichapa hiyo shule ball you know yeah. tukarudi shule and then i think that was a turn around for my life because i now decided i would never want to go for any festival any sporting event anything wow. i stopped so at a there. drama festival music festival never how could join is never well. joined never i joined a bit tena walikuwa nafika mali wanasema we have to go to western in that drop na toka na unajua huko watu watazusha huyo ready yako kwa tv hawa na na win hizi ni favoring nini ah mimi nikasema acha tu niwaache let's talk about machachari yeah. do you still are you friends are you closed with your fellow castmates yeah we are very we are very tight ni vile sasa hii kwa hii friends si ile friends ya kupigana kila siku ama ati kuambiana eh hey, nini tu tupatane kila time unajua tulika mkurealize pia tume grow na kila yeah. mtu akona shida zake na akona vitu anataka kusolve ni zake. ambition zake so with different ambitions with different um, growth levels unapata tu naturally wase uchoreana tu si ati ni bad blood yeah people Kwa just system, move on people just move on but tukipata na kama si upata na hizi events mwenye mimi upata na sana anaitwa bugi bugi tunakuga nayo almost every time um, alikuwa na act kama kini kwa machari right now he's in salem yeah. as tito mm-hmm. yes you upata na almost every single time almost like in a month tunaweza pata na twice mm-hmm. eh yeah. so unaweza imagine kama ni every single time na tunapata na twice wale wengine uh-huh. yeah uh, bahajuzi i'm a welcome mm. uh, a kid mm. are you looking to have a young family kama ye? um wow okay um naweza sema tu kama unataka kungoja ngoja okay sai kwa mind niko at a point where anasema nataka kungoja ngoja but unajua ya god god ndo ujua you sana never you never know mm. yeah but i'd really want inipate kama niko stable enough. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm. Uh nene, do people still treat you like mm-hmm. Govi wa show? 
outside yeah. here cuz unajua wameona govi sana kwa tele yeah. so wakikuona hivi yeah. they, they know you are a mature mm. person mm. but they still want to treat you like a kid like a do kid. they yeah especially hiki tumuipata sana on sets unapata most of the sets have been in mm-hmm. wamekuwa kini treat kama niko fragile <laughs> <laughs> oh na juu ni child star but you know I'm a god me ni normal human being na yeah. the best tool in life one of the best tools in life ni ku accept change na ku accept yeah. growth yam say let's say uko mezaga kukopa na mtu mm-hmm. pesa huu mtu amekukopa amekukopa one day akikuita akwambie ni aje yenyewe juu nimefanya gave i've bought you this uko surprised utakuwa surprised yes mm-hmm. but you ku accept kusema wow finally may happen mu believe you ni poor so to answer your question mu feel what to can that bracket of kids i know it's really hard to remove because even me i have that issue whenever i used to watch home alone and i see the the nani home alone kid right now ako almost 40 years i'm like whoa like, no. that's crazy he needs to go back to the home alone. alone but <laughs> nikakam nikajiambia maybe una kuni na sumbo watu wananijua like wanataka kale ka ya ka innocent fest nini ni, ni kagovi but sasa imagine tutawairudi huko uh-uh. yeah right now i'm 22 years in life you, you the, just have to song, grow the next 10 years i'll be 32 yeah who knows 50 years ndo hiyo watu watanitakuwa natembea na mkongojo tao maybe watu wanasema ile mkongojo with your grandkids yeah, grandkids wasa wanasema ah uni ule mtoto wa machari iki uh, unajua people just have to move on, on. Yeah. yeah people have to move on and treat me like someone who Is who's an now adult. an adult yeah, yeah who's now an adult and needs to ha- like needs to be respected yes. in a certain level na pia mimi utaka kuwa na voice that's why yeah. i talk to many people mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. there was a time after you quit machachari mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. you went to school finished and all that yeah. you said that a lot of production was sidelining you mm-hmm. but later ukaingia kina hapo yeah. hivyo yeah. it would tell us more about that role um what happened unapata hiyo time yenye nilikuwa sitaki like nilikuwa nimefika point I'm like nilikuwa hurt I was hurt by very many things very many aspects of why film ya Kenya yezi ka hivi why productions lazima watu watitiwe hivi so nika I, nika quit mm-hmm. the show that I was in so ku quit nika ka home almost like two years yeah but then eh nilikuwa hata sikuwa na watch tv by the end of time nilishikuwa na anxiety not really depression but ilikuwa na lead huko because I started yeah. feeling so low every day I wake up so nilikuwa na anxiety so bugi the same the same same bugi called me i remember in 2020 i think it was august was it september or august mali hapo kaniambia eh hey bro ni aje um nimeforward jina yako kwa godi godi ni casting director kina yeah. nimeforward jina yako kwa godi na ataku call nimeforward namba yako kwa godi na ataku call i'm like ah bro mbona umefanya hivyo you know i you time nilikuwa na hate sana tv So I never wanted to go back really. Then um Godi called me. Actually when Godi called me, Godi called me nikiwa anacheza ball hapa taf huku huku home. Nilikuwa anacheza tu ball. And then I picked his call like, "Eh, ni aje, unajua Godi I know him ba- since back then from from Makutano Junction days." Wow. Eh, hey, ni aje kiongozi nikamwambia niko poa. Godi ni aje mazi imekuwa long. We talked talk 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 talked. Then Um I called my mom because my mom doubles up as my manager as well. Yes, uh, yes. So nikam call my mom kasema sawa. Mm-hmm. Take it, take it. Mm-hmm. And there was this role. Mm-hmm. Ili come to role ya Vini, Vini ni chali ana ana kati ya Hope. Hope ni ndo sis mdogo akina Lefty mm-hmm. na Bella. So nika nika nikamkatia kati ya huku when you know the young love ni ni, ni. that role was so nice cuz sikuwa sikuwa nime hiyo role yes nilikuwa nime play kiasi machichari ka young love ni ni, ni. but hii ilikuwa sasa young love ya watu wa university sasa yeah. unaona mm-hmm. it was such a nice role a relaxed role like when nataka mambo mingi i wasn't on set every single day mm-hmm. you know cuz i wasn't part of the mains or anything but i enjoyed myself and i enjoyed my time while i was on kina i did kina for kwanza ya 2020 September mm-hmm. ama October mpaka 2021 September ama October ama November. Wow Maria. that's nice. Yeah. That's a whole year uko na job. A whole year niko na job. So ilikuwa inanifanya na feel ah yenyewe let me bury my past. Mm-hmm. I'm back. Choma mauchungu. No. Choma mauchungu. <laughs> yeah. uh, you've just said your mom mm. is your manager. Yeah. Uh, why did you choose her? Mhm and not an outsider because what says ngine usema ukichagua mm. family family uangusha mse yeah. family ukula nini like mm. so 
unasim like ukikuwa mdogo mm. the way ukikuwa na kado mm. masa anachukua na ananua vitu hey, za hao hey, hey. so people will assume like right now mm. the money you're working for mm. mama masa anachukua atumie mm. vitu zake mm. but anyway that aside why mom as your manager so if you check my history with arts 2002 when i did that voice over who sourced it my mom ha. 2005 when i was in makutano who sourced it ha. Ha. 2008 when we started shooting machichari who sourced it ama who was part of it who was part ha. of govi ha all these other things that i've done later in life who's been part of them ha so i was like why not when's your time why not because obviously i had a choice i had a choice to tell her you know what Ni-ni-ni. then your time it was such a fragile age you can imagine a five year old being handled by an outsider no at me i wouldn't crazy. trust my you know? kid with yeah, someone with else, someone else. Yeah. and that's the power of a mom and that's the love and 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 caring a mom gives to a child my mom yes. alikuwa you know she was like it's me and you mm-hmm. nobody else coming from the outside is going to come and give you pressure or anything and that's why even later in life sasa ndo nikaka i think is wali ndo inafakuliza why is your mom still your manager my mom is still my manager because you need understand despite her being my manager kuna vitu pia tunafanya get training yeah. the acting every day in our house is, is acting classes because my sister pia ameingia the industry daily ni eh, daily ni mother na come tunakana eh, mimi mother na sister tunaambiana tufanye nini you see what is an actress even mom despite you co producer pia ni actress yeah no no so um she she she's a type of manager who and who has a vision with my with this brand I'm rather with this um acting body you uh-huh. know so I got a plan I got a plan that's a nice Enye, manager ni meka kuona na watu wengine nikaona huyu plan yake ni kukula tu pesa yangu yeah. usitapata mtu anakuambia nataka nikuweke kwa job daily but nataka nakula 30% my mom doesn't have to eat my money that's too high for you know, a percentage yeah that's yeah. too high my mom doesn't imagine my mom pesa uingia mm-hmm. mimi najiambia eh niaje fanye hivi fanye ya family hivi fanye hivi that's Mina so hakuforce kufanya force, vitu ani force kufanya vitu na hakuforce bado kuwaka mm, alafu she so stand kuna vitu madangu wana hivi contract pesa imekuja almost half a million anambia no and and the jam una like, jam do you do in end after two months ya 700 itakuja una get so hey, ni vitu but then anajua business eh hey, anajua business na anajua pia angle za ni kifu mtu yeye akifanya hii sai itachoma kwa hii side na pia my mom ni spiritual sana okay so ana gate pia brand yangu na spirituality na i guess no maana niko hapa you know it's not easy to maintain 17 years of a career it doesn't especially because you easy. know people start working at 20 count 7 eh, ama 22 same ama 24 count 24 plus 17 That's almost 51 That's, you're almost coming to your retire, retiring age 40 yeah. it's 41 actually mm-hmm. unakaribia retiring so imagine 17 years what wajachoka na mimi mm-hmm. it's always you know rebranding mm-hmm. and my mom li- likes our life private in as much as tutapostiana nini but kuna vitu azita wai toka kwele nyumba which is Tabaki good which is the good. business yeah. aspect of everything mm-hmm. stays in those four corner walls uh-huh. yeah. yeah wow wow mm-hmm. uh, you won a kalasha last year yeah for kutu, kutu yeah. the the film yeah. why was this the right production for wewe mm-hmm. to also do it um well it was um i was approached by peter gitao the director shout out to him he's still the nani of the story yebadondo mwenye because he came up with the story mm-hmm. and when i when i was sent for the script i think i was the last to be picked mimi ah. nilikuwa wa mwisho kupikiwa because nikipatana na kina foe na kina kate Oh, alikuwa ni kama washaambiwa watadu. Mimi nilipatana nao kwa hiyo boardroom kwa oh wow for you okay Wapa. kid. Ah, ga Peter Gadambo Peter so I'm like wow. Mm-hmm. You know. So when I first got the script I was like this is a character that I really want to play. Mm-hmm. You know because this character alikuwa anaitwa Dagi. Mimi usahau sometimes character names but he character alikuwa anaitwa Dagi mm-hmm. and kutu goes like this. Let me just give you a synopsis. Mm-hmm. Um I think in order to find in the Kalasha cause it was so mind blowing. So I meet this girl, the girl now is for you boy. I can't remember her name on the on the on the on the, on the show. Okay. But the girl was for you. So we were kids we were like 14 years ni set up ya to go in the, like in in a certain vi- not really village type but like mashinani area, you know? And we were 14 years to go class 8 and then we to end as a high school. 
and you know kuna atujiba the aspect of condoms atujiba the aspect uh-huh. of protection uh, when it comes teen to love sex. so your teen love mm-hmm. you know what, what this dagi guy does mm-hmm. dagi aka aka kwa like unajua bado ni mianga juu hizi vitu so anapata pressure from outside mm-hmm. watu wa boda boda wanakuambia kwani bado uja test kitu mm-hmm. kwani bado ujafanya hivi nini pressure so, so msi ana baki kidogo ku test ni nini Mm-hmm. Unajua, what, what do these people wana mbona wananipiga hii pressure what i know hata kukisi you just know ama kumwangalia hivi kwa macho na panic <laughs> unajua imagine i had to put myself in that shoe at young young love, yeah. me, your young love yeah so we have it and the first time we're having it it's not even in my house mm-hmm. it's it's in the forest bush mm-hmm. green lodge ya kuiba ya kuibia <laughs> and very fast so what happens um Ugai before ata twende kwa hiyo green lodging whatever mm-hmm. umsi sasa si anapatana na um like au ma au ma a, a sex worker aha, analetwa aha. sex worker imagine ati kuna, kuna community, communities uh-huh. wanafanya give after umetairiwa unafanywa hivyo ati oh. ati ode matakusaidia upone haraka mm-hmm. yeah, it's a certain community in Kenya I won't mention but mm-hmm. yeah wali mm, cuz ilikuwa ni sauti sasa walifanya hiyo research pia pita gitao walifanya hiyo research wakakaa kuona community kuna certain communities ufanya hivyo ati mtu atakuja kusaidia kupona haraka after ah. circumcision so then you unapona haraka but anyway eh, let's move forward so the guy who played my 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 cousin or rather eh my cousin alikuwa MC Bull if you know Bull mm-hmm. yeye ndo alishinda support best supporting actor so yeye anakuja gana sema ati ati nishakulipia kile kitu nimesort wewe umsaidie kupona haraka. <laughs> Una imagine do mimi niko hapo nimepanic kwa traumatized kwanza uelewe. So the first time I tested it uh-huh. really need sasa kupelekea pia ule dem. So tukaenda and she got now she got pregnant. Mwenye sasa tuli after green lodging she got pregnant. Uh-huh. You know she comes back with an outburst to my house. Now si nishakuwa mkubwa niko na simba yangu. Uh-huh. She comes back anagonga na nimbia ana shout ana shout ana shout ana shout ana lampia ni li cheat on her na lafana niambia i'm pregnant and right now we had 15 years you just sasa ndo tume join to high school yeah just join so the story is so beautiful kuonesha na venye pregnancy in early pregnancy will affect a girl child me imagine mimi ni move on nime join high school woman the love zuri yeah haja join no no So um after I jo- after 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 like nimejua ku pregnant nika storm out ku storm out nimeenda nimeingia kwa nyumba ya mother mm-hmm. ameni for ju mother alikuja akisikia tumesha tunashautiana akitwambia tuingie kwa nyumba mm-hmm. do you know cuz pia Kate was playing as my mom so kwa story Kate is a single mom mm-hmm. do you know we are sitting now tunataka kuanza kujua sasa tutaplanaje hiki kitu nini nini guess what mm-hmm. now the father to for e in the show si sasa ndo ana sasa unajua ni wazazi sasa ukuja collectively kujua huyu mtoto wao ndo wana solve yeah, wao ndo wana solve hata sio nyinyi ni mama yangu gadhambo was playing as my uncle so kate gadhambo mm-hmm. oni mom na uncle mm-hmm. then now the uh, miss kibathi mm-hmm. na the nani the guy baba foi mm-hmm. na foi mm-hmm. na mimi so kesi inakuja ku solve hiyo <laughs> so wakisha ingia um kate anatana na una the father basa baba ya foi mm-hmm. anakuwa na outburst guess what the father to foi is my father no way yeah so your siblings who have had a kid yeah imagine oh no and that's abomination the story, in the african the saddest story is for is about context. to be a single mom mm-hmm. and my mom is a single mom <sighs> kwa the show It was so In deep that it was so deep that <laughs> nilikuwa like wow and imagine you happen imagine you happen imagine. yeah cuz ni transfer umze alipigwa so we had a new chief in town mm-hmm. turns out the chief is my dad your girlfriend's your dad and, and your girlfriend's yeah, dad. dad wow yeah interesting apundo, story apundo kutu ishi. Ishi. Mm. sasa tumeharibia watu wa kutu wenye waja watch no ilikuwa <laughs> ilikuwa ni kitu ili watch kwa cinema for about two months mm-hmm. before kalasha and then yeah hakuna syndication mtu akitaka kuwatch saa hii venye msikei story i wish they can give us that i wish they can give us actually nda call peter some time like wewe penye watu wanaweza ipata eh maybe youtube inaweza kuwa poa cuz youtube iko na two trailer mm-hmm. eh okay mm. uh nini 
when you are juicy kempinski mm-hmm. you are mm-hmm. telling me about your new show pepeta mm-hmm. but mtu kato interrupt hapo hivyo katikati you tell guys um mm-hmm. pepeta is a show that is actually coming up um show max but it don't get sana kwa sababu sitaki pia kuharibu mchuzi but what i can just say usiseme suri yote kama ya kutu what i can just say is pepeta will be the best show africa has ever seen you know why wow. Because it's telling real stories and it's actually so deep mm-hmm. so so deep i'll give you the process we even went for you know acting coaching where with charles oda shout out to him mm-hmm. it was more of like a kujuana peers as people because sisi ni new people tumepatana right now we are best of friends almost wow. all of us na tumekuwa so mlipo wa hiyo team building mlienda pia team building for almost a month wow. imagine ima workshop ya kama workshop ya 2 weeks na stunt work ya 3 weeks wow ndo tukaanza ku roll we even did a test shoot mm-hmm. before the actual shoot, shoot. much hey. and right hey, now it's budget. been how many mm-hmm. days with those guys i think 2 months 2 mm-hmm. months plus 1 month of shooting plus the 1 month that tulikuwa tumejuana workshop stunt yeah. work 2 months ndio mm-hmm. na site supigia na tunaambia namba kama issues zetu tumekuwa hivyo close wow yeah Shout anyway. out to everyone in Pepeta actually. Wacha to share be show max up hivi upigiwe simu hiyo part. Talk. will you ever pursue your dream of being a footballer? Well, me ucheza two balls kwa hizi kujibamba. I think nili nilianza nilianza gabadhi na FISA South B. Mm-hmm. Nikiwa mtoi nilikuwa anacheza ball with my coach Korea hiyo time ndo alikuwa anatu guide. But I guess ukifika okay, 22 na bado yo late yako ya footage kama ama ni ah unasema tu ni sawa as long as niko acting me ni sani baba na mama hiyo mm-hmm. ndo career niliamua okay. football na za cheza yes wakinite kama unaona Usain Bolt mm-hmm. alikuwa anakimbia 100 meters na 200 meters mm-hmm. but venye alitwa na Borussia ya wacheza alienda pia mimi siezi mind nikifika mimi bio state ya watamani naweza niambia eh niaje kama mchezaji I'll go play Bio. am yeah, very fast <laughs> very fast i'm also a, a, a good swimmer mm-hmm. uh, deep sea diver Wow. I was in Malindi in um, was it March April. Mali mm-hmm. Malindi That's something also coming. Mm-hmm. Yeah, another short film coming. What is it called? It's the called... one that you swim, mm-hmm. you cycle, mm-hmm. and you run. Swim, cycle and run. Yeah. So you start from the sea. Uh-huh. And then and I think you run fast mm-hmm. and then you start cycling or one of the nini it's mm-hmm. called decathlon decathlon Oh yeah decathlon yeah 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 the decathlon yeah 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 the yeah. yeah. olympic season You you yeah. should do that since yeah. you are triple threat kabisa 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 <laughs> mm-hmm. ah yeah. uh, you also going on a US tour yeah. is it immediately after my rap uh, mm-hmm. pepeta mm-hmm. ama There are some other things you're doing. Yeah. Well, it's not even really a US tour yet. It's yeah. going to be more like visiting because my dad lives in the states. Uh-huh. Yeah, and he's really missed me and missed the family. So, nenda tu nimcheki. But nilikuwa nafikiria nikiwa na mcheki pia naweza kuwa nikicheki life yangu venye inaweza kaa huko. Yeah, just Una when get, you decide yeah, to Yeah, ile ujanja ya ni aje dad nimekaa kaa. Wacha niende ni check. Unaweza nipeleka maybe LA niende nione venye culture iko huko arts nini. No zinaweza pata kismat yangu huko. Ah. Mimi si ogopi kujituma imagine. Hey. Sije ogopa kujituma. Smart boy. Na sije ogopa kuanza tena. Hiyo hmm. nilirealize after nilichapwa na ile anxiety. Sije ogopa kuanza tena. Hmm. Mm. Uh, earlier you said your dad Kishi South B mm-hmm. your dad was in Dubai. Yeah. Then now mm-hmm. your dad is in uh States. U- US. Yeah. Uh, are they divorced with your parents yeah ama tu ni they are divorced my mom is a single mom uh-huh. yeah my mom is a single mom mm-hmm. yeah but you guys have good relationship you yeah. have a re- good relationship with your dad yeah uzuri mama jai tu nyima yote kutuambia ati msio yongea na baba yenu ama anaambia sisi yangu we talk anytime my dad yen kimpigia video call nini tuongee for hours and my mom doesn't have an issue with that mm-hmm. same thing to my sister Ah. Yeah, so we enjoy that ka two parent love. Ni vile sasa my mom ndo tuko naye hapa physically and my dad ako huko. Ah, that's awesome. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you still shoot? Is it called Present, Present Chronicles? Chronicles? Nimeenda hapo YouTube nikaona, ai, kwani hizi episodes mwisho ilikuwa when? Maze. Mm-hmm. So what happened ilikuwa Maze Present Chronicles ilikuwa ina ninyonya do. 
Una imagine nilikuwa nenda na piga job. Ukaona venye productions hiyo hizi. Raisi. You know. He tulitumia dog. Actually ilifika mpaka point tukakuwa sana partnership na mom. Nikamwambia, "Eh, mazi you need sasa to come in. We use so much, so much money because we even started another show called Young Billies Den. For every Tuesday that I was doing Young Billies Den because I was shooting every Tuesday, we were using almost um 60k or 66k. Yeah. Pa pa episode. But Tuesday no no present chronicles pia ndio hiyo tulikuwa tunatumia a lot of money na a lot of pia losses mmekuja mme set up lights mahali bulbs zimelipuka yani unajua tu what hakuna lights na mme haya hakuna lights mme haya equipment yani, ninakuambia unasikia kuchizi so i told myself really mali imefika hiyo train kwanza ime, imeeka to pause hayutasimama ni pause tu kwanza but haitaisimama permanently itaendelea i'm i'm looking forward into doing episode 3 I've done I've done scripting back episode 6 of what I want people to do. This is a series of short films actually. Na ziko YouTube Present Chronicles is known the contemporary issues of the society, be it gender based violence, be it mental health, be it you know um unemployment, be it bad governance because I'm a student of international relations by the way. Yeah. So vitu zenye zinasumbua community side na society nataka kuzi air na instead of doing just talking ikuwe pia audiovisual. Uh-huh. where you can hear and you can see you, can see. you know you in a seligi mo no but as of now i wish i had partnerships mm-hmm. i wish people would come on board and tell me you know what malik mm-hmm. we are ready to fund you let's bring this beautiful ninis to life and we to gawane mali katikati nini yeah naweza shukuru sana but unajua nimekuwa nikiji fund mi peke yangu expensive production is too expensive it's too expensive especially if, if, if camera na no money is coming, is coming in, in. Where? yeah So you can imagine nilikuwa naenda nafanya ka gig na kuja na tupa yote hapo. Neno unafanya ka gig. But I, I had a very good vision with also the company Cheko Saba Productions which was formerly my mom's but now mama linia you know what and Leah na it, it was a sleeping giant but Reno right imerudi. Na vision yangu ilikuwa ku employ youth filmmakers, youth actors, youth whatever, musicians, produ- producers. Yeah, you you know bado aim yangu na Cheko Saba cause pia wana need to have a voice. Na pia ni kuna train na waambia hata ukipatiwa hii chance na una went the best mm-hmm. si lazima ujipige kifua ombe what means the best let your work speak for itself yes. me that's what i believe it's in much better yeah cuz you tunakuwa na shida ya ego ndio maana kwanza nyinyi nyinyi youngins eh hey, mnachokesha unajua ndio maana very talented mpata. but mnachokesha and i and i like i understand that kwa sababu pia mimi nimeiona mm-hmm. you know i might be different i might have a brain that is maybe 40 years old but with youth I'm still a youth with youth tunakuganea aspect si kila youth but my youth are kunele aspect yeah. you know cuz this the youtube you know youtube um, gen students eh, gen uh-huh. z's tunajua kufanya vitu zenye wazazi wetu hawaezi but yeah. remember yeye ndo alikufungulia hiyo chapter kwanza mm-hmm. before so na yeye ako na experience na yako uko na talent uko na talent so yeye ndo anafaa kukuguide kuoneshe hii meter unaweza change into 10 million ama 20 si yeah. meter unaweza kuona ipata kila saa but i you know pia I life grow. ku grow na kujibuild yeah. you know so basically even ndo naweza sema so kulitokea utatanishi kidogo na Chiko Saba Productions i had youths mm-hmm. and i guess we stayed together for quite some months but ni kama tukua na the same vision your time uh. really lead to a pause not a break a pause mm-hmm. yeah Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Umesema hii uh, unafanya international relations. Yeah. Uh, is degree unataka tu kupata sat mm-hmm. ama utai practice. Ndai practice na the way, the, the way that ndai practice ni very simple. Mm-hmm. I've reached the epitome of my career. Yeah. No, And I now, don't think so. No, I'm saying mm-hmm. I've reached the epitome like sasa ni exam ni nani napeana in future. Okay. I'm giving a state like a statement not that say I've reached the epitome. Ah, mimi mimi may, like, may understand I uh, have reached ah, bado, the bado, <laughs> eh bado tunaenda bado mbali. Mimi usemu ukishafika mahali yenye una feel sasa umefika hapo ndo sasa story imeisha. So let's say okay, acha nianze even though it sound better. When I reach Ama this guy has reached the epitome of his career <laughs> and he's now being called to um what's it called he's now being called to international events. Iwe ni nataka wewe ukuje uongeleshe watu maybe um shida ya let's say diseases mm-hmm. basically you go now in leadership positions. positions and you know when you reach your epitome have you ever noticed like you reach the highest level 
ndio hizi vitu anza kukuja sasa hii bado sasa hii maybe yeye nitaniita inipige tu picha but kuna time watataka niongeleshe ni kuwepo alongside secretary general yes. someone like morgan freeman mm-hmm. morgan freeman that's a guy you can say he reached not even at yalish at yamefika him he reached his epitome kitambo sana kitambo sana na sikizi vitu yufanya atakuja aongeleshe tu watu mm-hmm. awaambie you know in africa if you want to kill eradicate um ebola mm-hmm. is what we can do someone like um idris elba akika kuongelesha ya kwamba hivi ndio tunaweza fanya kuna ile respect tunampea because yeah. he is a guy who's who's reached yeah his epitome so that's why i'm practicing ir because i know one time i'm going to reach the epitome of my career and i don't want it to find me kama si jini ni ndasema a lot of times i've been told i've seen it in blogs i've been told in, this young man is so wise you're so wise even i'm is like so knowledge <laughs> You know wengine wamekaa hapa not as wise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, knowledge is the only thing that's very expensive but you can acquire it anytime but it yeah. comes with listening. Mm-hmm. So when I'm in that class and I listen to my lecturers, mm-hmm. I see students visual audio peer. Mm-hmm. Kuna vitu mingi unalearn, una pick, una pick. Na mimi kufanya present chronicles nili feel inaweza copy imechangiwa na hiyo drive yangu ya international relations wase wajue Kenya nini inaendelea you know and how we can solve you know i don't want to be that guy who goes to the street and like, haki yetu haki yetu no i want to speak in terms of audio visual and when i reach my epitome i want to speak to the world wow yeah mm-hmm. yeah how was it meeting the late chris <coughs> kirubi Mm-hmm. and our president ulikuwa ulikuwa Pascal Tokodi he mimi nakwambia watch selina hawa yeah. yako ilikuwa gani yangu ilikuwa more like mm-hmm. tusha kwa maseleb unajua it's 2012 we are, we are doing that kenyan kenyans for kenya kenyans campaign for kenya. if you can remember it mm-hmm. and here are these two boys wamechaguliwa mm-hmm. two boys from machari mimi na ba thailand and we in serena hotel mm-hmm. and ukitani hivi Chris Kirubi mm-hmm. Samuel Pogisho mm-hmm. um, our president alikot pale uru kinyata mm-hmm. mwai kibaki man it was big big but my mama amenifunza kitu moja self belief kujiamini si kwanza ati unaji hide you know what this guys actually came and were like we want to take pictures with you guys mm-hmm. and oh. we're like what <laughs> I love your time. Okay, you keep up to you. Kuna watu hujui. Mama kuna anakuja. Unajua ni nani? Uyu. Ah, but you like yeah, you know. Si ati unaji feel but ukiwa mtoi kuna vitu kama si mabest wako ama mzazi wako. But apart from the president. Yeah, apart from the president. Unasema pogishu. Yeah, umeshtuka. Many 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 young kids. But imagine you have that kid. Me have been that kid who knew these faces but I I couldn't put a name to. Nilikuwa tu naonaga kwa news because me ni watch news for the longest time. It was I remember when I met Kirubi in 2012 because I met him again in 2017 when we were doing And you actually yeah the advert yeah, yeah Chris was a different type of idol mm-hmm. different type of man Umse alikuwa ule jamaa maze down to earth na kuna kila kitu Mimi ndio imekuwa goal yangu in life I want to have it all but I still stay down to earth Iyo mufili giyo the best thing you know people after. assume mm. when you're down to earth mm. umekanyagiwa wewe ndo unapitiwa eh, eh. but you can be down to earth and still being and respected still, yeah, yeah and still own the world mm-hmm. you know chris was that type of person and chris had a different language i remember when i met him in 2017 he was like um give me a few minutes i go take a wee wee as in he was just he was just chris <laughs> you know in as much as maybe alikuwa anajua mimi tu ni actor but ajui achievements zangu cause yenyewe imekubalika yeye anaweza kosa kujua achievements zangu but mimi na follow nataka kujua achievements zangu but he was just a man I'd want to be like in terms of business mm-hmm. yeah na pia kupiga sherehe eh, enjoy this life eh, he enjoyed his life you know pia mimi naipenda ku enjoy life yangu sana when i met president uhuru he wasn't president at that time alikuwa minister for foreign affairs I'm a I'm a finance finance yeah yeah minister for finance he was quite a chilled man um we didn't even talk i was just seeing him like akotu pale yeah man but i remember when we first performed because we performed before i met my Mwai, president mwaki back in the late mm-hmm. we performed for him for jamhuri ah 
Yeah. Eh, Stadium. You know, you know Kibaki used to love his mic close to him. So that time I'll come back and kitty mic yake kwa wala mna sikia oh watoto wa mashashari as we were performing. As I was like this this the president knows us. We belong. We belong. We ain't going back. You know, I've met Hey, nime meet, nime meet so many people. The who's is uh, who's. Yeah, nime meet na mi nasema ga. Si tena niwaambie shida zangu ama si tena niwaambie nipe namba. Just seeing them and, and knowing that I'm in the same room as them. Is it impactful it. enough That's for you? Impactful. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's just it. Kwa sababu ni kuambie, mi nimeshika shika do. Kitu watu wa dosi hawapendagi. Wacha niseme kitu sisi watu wa dosi hatupendagi. Ni mtu kukulilia shida kila saa. Yeah. Na unaweza mpatia tool ya utafika huko but anakuja leo punch kesho punch nini you know you kulili wa shida inachokesha kile ndio maana watu wengi usema watu wadosi ni wastingi they are not really stingy you're not about to be dishing out money like that is not going to come back yeah that is not going to multiply. multiply yeah you know you're not going to dish out money like that kwa sababu pia wewe ulikuwa na shida zako one time na hakuna mtu alikuwa gati hapo kukupatia hiyo pesa na huku enda hand out eh hey, baadhi yuko tu nilikam kwa understand na watu wadosi after ni more meet meet nikakaa nao can you imagine mtu mdosi unamaliza gana meeting na yeye the only thing he'll do he'll pay for your food and he'll go or he'll pay for his yeah if it's a business it's meeting a, yeah. you can afford the tea yeah that's why when when i'm with my manager my mom mm-hmm. when I'm, a, a call comes in you liza is the food on us or even as jifanya, simple as uh, transport yeah. and you all know? that yeah. you need to know in advance you need to know in advance and by the way this is a very business uh, this is a very good business um approach mm-hmm. mtu afai ku kuzunag mtu unajua mm-hmm. uliza tu hiyo swali watu wengi ufeel kuuliza wanafika hapo wanaachiwa deni ya 10000 afadhali uulize ujue ufike hapo hauguzi banji tu na ni tatu yeah ivo <laughs> right mm. so a lot of people when you're getting into the business world right now wa our ulizi so good to be vocal ni assumption ah si yendo amenita atalipa we hey utati yeah mm. let's talk business yeah you also um deal with houses yeah you you sell you rent are you an agent e how wo fanya nini are you a flipper do mm-hmm. you fix Yeah. Old houses what do you do Basically in um, real estate I'm a jack of all trades apart from fixing houses mm-hmm. So yeah. fixer apa apo yo renovation <laughs> <or what? laughs> but um I've sold restaurants a restaurant before mm-hmm. I've I've rented a house mm-hmm. Right now I'm looking into selling properties now Okay But I kind of put a pause on the real estate na niko zikila mtu alikuja ku believe kama maybe hauna kazi in Nairobi unaweza kuwa real estate agent mm-hmm. I'm a real estate um I, now I want to own mine and tell people you know what I'm selling this shamba which are mine mm-hmm. cuz it's really hard to sell for someone somebody else cuz mna jipata gam kwa watu wengi kama watu 100 mnafuatilia shamba ya 1 million una imagine shamba iki unless to work wa nunue imagine mnafuatilia shamba so ule ameleta mtu huo mtu mwingine ameshamchukua you know clearly ni piece of na real estate But right now kama mtu anataka nyumba kama mtu anataka shamba ama ai just you're the out. guy to go yeah because uh, when i joined i i kind of connect i kind of networked with like mtu akitaka nyumba lovington na mtu wangu wa lovington yule mwenye nikimpigia sai ile na hiyo deal ni poa na deal ni poa mbeni aje uko na nyumba mtu anataka rent up maybe ya 180 tu utampatia eh kuja malik niko na wakaren mi deal na hizi high end Ah. Mm, pia commission kako a bit juu. Yeah, commission pia iko juu. Unaweza mekata commission ya hata mita. Ukicheza safe una mekata commission ya mita. So yeah. nyinyi mlikuwa mnalipisha kutafuta nyumba. Mlikuwa mnalipisha kutafuta. Actually, nyumba. actually kama, I used to kama do this. Kama yes zetu eh, ziseme tuko wapi? <laughs> eh, actually I used to do this. Mine was so nice. Like I'd, after tumeongea na wewe, I'd tell you everything is on me. So mm. yeah, I used to give people VIP experiences. So this is I remember there's this lady I nearly mchukua um, karibu hapo Royal Media po Dennis Street Road. Mm-hmm. Kamchukua and then we're driving I'm driving her. She's seeing around nini nini and then she like I want that one. Then we enter nini hivyo. Mazuri unajua alikuwa anashindwa mbona watu wanajoo driver wangu. Ah cuz yeah eh but they could recognize mimi na kuambia venye alini recognize. Alikuwa like oh my god. <laughs> Oh my it's you you've grown you you actually when you unanionyesha nyumba sai you know I was like yeah alafu unajua mimi ndeka that cash picture like yeah yeah 
now you're my boss so i'm not about to be like yeah me me do put my celeb card up for you so oh, she got a house mm-hmm. and i was really happy for her yeah she didn't pay me anything mm-hmm. and that's you need but at least she can at least she, she can, can refer say, yeah, you yeah or sing your prayers. Yeah. Kuz kusumbua watu. Oh, niyeke mafuta kwa gari. Nifanyie hivi. No, ah, you know. Kabla wana nyumba eh, tuma, eh, tuma eh, advance. Sipoa. <laughs> Iko tu kwa gipoa. Na I think ndo maana mimi nimefanya fanya hizo mabiashara. Inachokesha because okay, naona mm. 30. So kila hao nimekulipa. Imagine. Ah. Yeah. Business Sipoa. buyer kwetu eh, nzuri kwako. Eh, mm. You know. Mm. Uh, Gobi, wewe ushaikuwa heartbroken? Um, yes and no. Yes. Mm-hmm. Kwa sababu ya expectations. No, kwa sababu it was the right thing to happen that time. Aha, uh-huh, because you, you are not ready. Yeah. So what happened? Um I had this uh wait. Um okay, I've dated twice in my life. Mm-hmm. The first As one As you should. Yeah. Mimi but I take dating very seriously. I've been in many many situations. So you date to to marriage or you know I it's... guess I, I'm that type of person. Oh, <laughs> that that's type of sweet. Person. But it it was weird because I was actually so young that time. How old? I was the, my first time dating I was in 2000 and like age wise. 18. Oh yeah, I was 18. Okay. My high school sweetheart. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but when we finished high school I don't know everything changed and she left me. Mm-hmm. Even in the situation that I was in before like 2017 2014 I had never left a girl mm-hmm. apart from one I think in 2014 but unaona naweza kumbuka kwa sababu it really means a lot to me to love someone mm-hmm. my next one was 2019 I met this very very beautiful girl after like that was the first heartbreak actually with my high school sweetheart sita imuona tena i'm like Man, this is crazy nini i'm kutaka hiyo maneno ya ku make it work uh, on her side mimi nilijaribu akademia no i think maybe pia alikuwa anaogopa hiyo celeb yangu jwali eh tulitoka now to the real world and all like eh huyo kona mara ya demo wengi mabeste unajua <laughs> sisi blame na mtu pia ku live afai ku blame hiyo mm-hmm. then met this beautiful uh, girl mm-hmm. my ex now mm-hmm. apparently i'm the one who left that mm-hmm. yeah i left that relationship mimi mm-hmm. But it wasn't nice. It actually beat me down. So daily ni heartbreak mimi ku live. Mhm. Okay. Una get. Okay. But it was good cuz I'll be able to kuendeleza kujendeleza na maisha yake, kufanya vitu zake venye anajisikia. Aya, nikakuja sasa nika meet mwingine. Oh lo 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 that that wasn't the best experience now in 2020. It was good while it last your time. But before we we actually call before I called everything quits alikuwa amenionyesha too much sasa and I felt it was kind of disrespectful too much ilikuwa nini oh my god ilikuwa ile design ya eh design mko wengi but ilikuwa still eh tulikuwa wengi unaona tulikuwa wengi na nilikuwa I was more of a simpa ah to her so ulikuwa simp nilikuwa yeah. simp yani nilikuwa you know I attack nifanye makosa ni sawa You know. So but that wasn't a relationship that was a situation Okay. Yeah. Then after that uh I met another beautiful girl but it was a situation we never really had a relationship but you tulikuwa mpaka tunaambia I love you nini nini but then pia ikaisha. Yeah. So So heartbreaks kwa ko ni, ni mob ni mob but she is busy to I think heartbreaks ni ka, ni mbili Mhm. Ina ama tatu. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because of this other situation she pia nimekuambia ile kwamba that alinionyesha straight to my face. Mm-hmm. You're nothing. You know straight to my face. Yes at I say but we are not. You just know. You just know. Mm. Mm-hmm. Right now pia kuna some uh, I'm trying. Mm-hmm. You know in life I think you can no man is an island na utaachwa na mtu useme mimi sitairudi hiyo kitu. I'm done. Sitoi. Sasa kuanzia hapo. Hasira ya moment. Hasira ya moment. Then next week we change mind. Kuna na kusip of your feet to like wow, okay. Yeah, so sasa hivi niko hapo. Yeah, but I'm, not a, but I'm not in a relationship. I'm perfectly single, but ni to go kwa situation. They might be something. Yeah, they yeah. Ah. Yeah. I, I wish you all the best. I hope you see your heartbreak. Thank you. But after like your heartbreak, <laughs> I think tulisha nilisha learn kusema, you know what? Someone can leave. 
whenever they want it's your right to live by the way yeah it's by the way, i don't miss chikagi mtu mateka i don't really hold you captive wasniacha yeah, wasniacha ah, that's that's being a bad man mimi useme hiyo kumbe mtu mimi ni wangu na sije till death ah bana what to live ni sawa yeah mm. inakubalika hey, very mature yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. uh nene why do you choose to keep your relationships online uh, uh no private nini? private considering you so no many maybe they might have been several people yeah. but still we know nothing until yeah the same <laughs> yeah the reason is quite simple um i'm a man who comes from a very very laid back family up in the story we get to the drama we love everyone you know we are givers mm-hmm. and to top it all mm-hmm. come from a family of my mom's side is really we really have ministers in our family uh-huh. yeah my shosho is a ni pastor mm-hmm. my guka is a pastor they are my mom's my my, my shosho's mom my great grandma is a pastor mm-hmm. you hey. know my mom serves in the church pia so you know na unaelekea huko um <laughs> maybe you see calling yangu but pia mimi mali nimeka god na relationship yangu na god is very tight yeye ndo amenipatia kila kitu you know yeah. Kuna watu wengi beta kunishinda but mm-hmm. I make sure kijana nimempay spotlight. Mm-hmm. Um so my dad side nayo is pia watu wako very spiritual mm-hmm. but my my dad ni muslim but pia wasi wako spiritual ni nini. nini. Mm-hmm. So mimi nilikuja nikakaa chini nikajiambia let's see niwaoneshe easy vitu. Mm-hmm. Itacha kukuwa na about Malik cuz you know most times girls ndo wana chukua all attention that akwa malik sita kwa dem so people won't be even seeing my movies if i don't post my girl people now will take it yeah. akwa malik's girlfriend, girlfriend. malik's yeah. ex girlfriend yeah and also don't want to subject somebody's daughter to that not mm-hmm. every girl wants that, that lifestyle publicity. fame publicity no mm-hmm. there's these girls who just want you for them like they want you to take them as they are mm-hmm. and even though me say ma if maybe one day one day maybe if a girl wants us to go that direction we might we won't but we might but sipendi sipendi your pressure na pia family yangu sitakagi ah tumefanya kitu leo leo tume kiss tena waanze kusema huyu mtoto wa bishop mtoto wa eh, grandson wa pastor ame unajua sitaki kuweke hiyo lawama sitaki kuweke hiyo burden mm. so for for the longest time i'll keep my life private people will only see my work yeah and i'll just let my work speak for itself mm. yeah mm. Uh, apart you've said you have a good management mm-hmm. uh by your mom mm-hmm. being the manager yeah what other things do you think is the secret to your longevity kwa hii industry the other thing um i think many might say I'm my humility mm-hmm. cuz like i said many people are better than me but god only me god know me to pay everything so in as a kwa moja I really am big on respect peer. I respect people and I respect uh the older generation of actors. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I call them my seniors. I you know, I listen to them. I complain to them. I don't have to complain to the public. That's what I learned. There's a time I complain to the public and 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 one of I'd say my fathers or mentors in the industry. I'll say his name Ojambo. Ojambo is okay. really a dope you know a dope guy cuz tumejoana for the longest i mean you join kiwaka toto sana wacha na tena machichari yeah i mean you since back then but i never pack up to listen to kanemia malik you know you're very famous unajua when you ongea you're very famous but femi yako pia ndo inaweza kuharibia umefanya hivi tulia if you have any question or anything kuja kwetu oh you know, we'll help you we'll help you and outbus pia on social media sometimes was in a hi saidi sisi tu ma bloggers tunaandika hey, vitu hi saidi na blogger always maybe ataandika story negative ndo wasewa wakuje actually Mwajua. most of them negative ndo nauza eh yeah, negative sana kinika positive sana yeah. wasewa kwa like unless ah, it's just, yeah. really awesome Ma- we no bell price eh yeah. unaona hizo <laughs> ni clickbait extreme awesomeness Ma- clickbait mimi si juzi walisema napenda wa mama i was like what i didn't even say that i said i love i'm i'm into older 
girls as well. Older can mean a day or two. Yeah. You know, in it can mean English. since you're 22, a year eh, older. A year older. Yeah. Or rather a day older. Maybe mean you are July 29th. Yeah, you are. July 28th. Maza wali enda wakachukuu story waka twist. Ni kapigu wa mawe. Oh, unajua wa Kenya wata ya understand. Uh, understanding. But ni sawa. Tulishaka. Kesi bada. Mm, kesi bada. And by then nilijifunza not to soma comments. Mm-hmm. I don't read comments. Yes, I reply. Sometimes I, I sit down, I reply to comments. My mom does a very good job of yendo sasa ana scrutinize the comments. Ana ziangalia. Ana. But mimi nilijambia. Ah, watu unatrengi kwa kuonesha the positive side but ni kama wataki ya wanataka tu uonesha negative. Mm-hmm. Mm. so that's why like unapata longevity yangu pia inaweza kuwa cuz mm-hmm. au ndo wameshikilia industry yeah. so akini refer wase mimi ukijana by the ana be vingi poa mm-hmm. na anafanya hivi jobs ni like na mm. gigs the other thing nilikampia ku understand longevity pia inafaa kuwa unajituma mm-hmm. you know ukisikia audition mali usiweke ustaa mbele fanya audition ukiambiwa yes ni sawa ukiambiwa no not every no means you're not good at what you do mm-hmm. you know a no can also mean You, we wanted someone who has beards you don't mm-hmm. we wanted someone who's who has a buff body you don't have a buff body mm-hmm. wanted someone who's maybe slim but you big oh this this wasn't meant to be yeah yes. oh, this just wasn't meant uh, to be dogo dogo yako acting sasa watu wengi uhepaga acting forever kwa sababu hiyo sababu aliambiwa no unajua hata take time cool sababu hii um iko sawa ama okomia no or maybe alaf maybe at direct casting director atakwambia Um hapa atutaki mtu ako na base. Mm-hmm. Unataka mtu ako na kasauti. Eh, sasa mimi mtu wa base. <laughs> sasa nitaanza kufanya. Oh, Your job so imeenda hivyo. Ni eh unajua hapa mm-hmm. eh. Mm-hmm. <coughs> yeah. Uh, then ukapiga picha umeva mm-hmm. hills Yeah. Rolls zika come more boy ngine waka kuita gay. Mm-hmm. There's just too many negative comments. Mm-hmm. What was your intention with that picture? My intention was to sell culture. And by culture I mean uh, royalty culture. Mm-hmm. When you go back in the 1700s or rather back even mm-hmm. I wouldn't say medieval days like after you know humans wamekuja wamekuwa now humans achana medieval days ya kuishi kwa forest. <laughs> What did kings used to wear? Awesome stuff. Yeah, kings used like to wear heels. Like the hills. best of the best. Yeah, kings used to wear heels mm-hmm. and some used to wear skirts. Heels why? A king unajua uh, kingship was hereditary. Mm-hmm. Yes. So you might find um they are six feet tall mm-hmm. all the subjects are shorter than him yes. then apate mtoto mwenye anachukua kingship but ni mfupi he's maybe 5 4 mm-hmm. so subjects wanakuwa warefu Were so kings used to wear high heels mm-hmm. to just or be show. on a platform yeah. to show authority, authority. Cuz always kwa king mfupi hivi alafu watu wako always kwa king umefifia na get I was just trying to kuweka hiyo but e wasi wali chukua different i guess kwa sababu watu wengi wako ignorant na the only thing people wanajuanga kwa dressing ni in dressing ya wanaume in dressing ya madam watu wa go back me I'm, i'm big on history like yeah, i really yo yo what you explaining to me kwa caption um Aba, yeah i so, guess if we to check instagram nilieka kitu ya royalty mm-hmm. but wasi wakai chukua out of context mm-hmm. maybe si hizi walaumu juu maybe hawajao na dem yangu dem mwenye na date mm-hmm. ama hiyo time mse mwenye nilikuwa na Yesu alikuwa anajua ujua jai tuonesha msichana yote he must be kitu kitu kwa hiyo group nyingine eh, 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 uh, yeah. ah, Kenyans mm. savages yeah, savages ah <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Malik we yeah. have come to an end uh-huh. <laughs> finally finally what is next for you what is next for me is i want to make um hollywood in kenya i want to make hollywood home Get what I mean that will give so many people opportunities and maybe us we were born to be you know like by us I mean like sisi wenye tulikuja before like the generation kitambu, kitambu, before uh, the generation of actors before maybe we were just born to be mm-hmm. scapegoats mm-hmm. for the future generation I want yeah. to sit down one day and just see an actor a young actor make about 10 million for a show make about 20 a 100 that will really make me feel awesome hata kama sisi hatukuwa ifika hiyo level But na jot kwa wazee tafiti. Open your window. But you open your window. Mm. You know, not everything good comes from Maju. No. Even now, do you know mm-hmm. Kenya has the best locations in the world? Yes. Hata yes. ukienda Kenya film na ni watakwambia. Mm-hmm. Adi, ndio maana utapata vitu mingi zimefanywa Kenya. Cuz yeah. Kenya iko na ocean, iko na dry land, iko na desert, iko na you know, game reserves, mountains. Yeah, it's a country and it's limited to and climate changes 
in almost every county is unique. Yeah. You know, in Nairobi you can have um cool temperatures. Mm-hmm. Mombasa ukienda very hot. No, hot. Moyale, very very <laughs> hot. <laughs> no. Limuru cold, uh, cold like cold crazy. Winter. You know, so higher humidity pia kwa different regions Kisumu yeah. nani. So we have a wide range of temperature beautiful locations. Yeah. So that's my plan. Na pia kusaidia youth filmmakers wafike. I think that's what a is different next level. Me. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Thank you so much for Thank coming. You. Thank you Cheptoek. Yes. I've enjoyed. We will now have our lunch. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching the episode. Please subscribe. <coughs> I will see you guys next week. Cheers. <laughs>